What I want to achieve in today's session is just to impart to you a very brief overview of our course. Much of the information that, that I'll be telling you today is clearly available in our University of Melbourne handbook. If you haven't seen that, just Google UniMel handbook and you've got a, uh, a really good pricey of all of the different courses that you can do at the University of Melbourne. Uh, so I'm here at your disposal. I'm going to give you a very brief overview of the course uh, and invite you to ask anything about the course, about placements of uh, students into optometry clinics during their learning, about our research, about student life, about experiences of our students in general. I hope to do my best uh, to answer any of your questions honestly and openly. Uh, I was in a position uh, a long time ago after I did my science degree and optometry degree, I went overseas and lived in Montreal for two years as a postdoctoral research fellow. And then I went south of the border to Rochester, New York and, and spent two years as a postdoctoral fellow over there. So I, I know what it's like to be uncertain about the prospect of moving into a different environment and a different country. And it's such a wonderful experience. Um, I want to share my enthusiasm for sharing or for experiencing all different parts of the world with you. Uh, and so um, really, if you've got any questions at all about this, uh, this prospect of this opportunity, this wonderful opportunity, please uh, type it into the, I believe there's a question and answers box that you can type into, or uh, I don't know, so somehow the guys at Oztrack will, will figure out how to get your questions to me and I hopefully will be able to answer them on the fly or I can answer questions uh, after I give my little bit of a spiel. Um, okay, Hamish with the, the next slide. All right. Um, so we're gonna whiz through uh, some of the course, but first of all, and um, I should also touched upon this, why the University of Melbourne? We, we at the in Australia now have many uh, universities who, uh, can educate with the outcome being a, um, a, an opt a registration to practice optometry in Australia and also in New Zealand. Uh, we, I'm very biased, of course, but I think the University of Melbourne is, is the best one of those. Um, and I'm here to convince you that that might be the case. Uh, well, we were the first uh, of the Australian courses to, uh, to graduate uh, a doctor of optometry. Um, so we call that uh, an Australian Quality Framework Level 9 E certification. And it's internationally recognized. It's full accredited, fully accredited by a national accrediting body, which is the Optometry Council of Australia and New Zealand, OCANS, which means our graduates can automatically apply for registration to practice in Australia and also in New Zealand. And in New Zealand, actually, there's uh, an interesting set of prescribing rights that we don't actually have here in Australia. So you can practice more advanced optometry in New Zealand than you can in Australia at the moment. Um, but it is an internationally recognised degree for uh, the purpose of you guys in the audience who are from North America, from Canada and the United States, I believe. There are extra board examinations that you will need to pass in order for you to be able to uh, practice optometry in your own countries. And we'll discuss that uh, a little bit more after I, I give a talk. But certainly um, Australia has a skilled migration pathway. A lot of our international students actually end up practicing optometry and having a great life in Australia. The University of Melbourne is Australia's number one ranked university. So uh, you know you're getting a quality educational experience when you come here and we will look after you as well. It's a really vibrant uh, campus and all throughout the COVID pandemic, the University of Melbourne was probably the, the most active university championing this notion about a cohort experience, looking after the students and bringing students onto campus. And it, it, it's reflected in the vibrancy of the facilities that we've got for students to interact with each other, interact with staff on the campus here during your learning is, um, I honestly believe, second to none in Australia. Um, we've got our own new facilities uh, in this campus. The campus is actually located in a, a part of the Melbourne called Parkville, or it's on the border of Parkville and Carlton. And the optometry department has just been lucky enough to move into a fully refurbished uh, building. I don't, actually don't, don't have a photograph to show you of that, but um, uh, I probably should. It's, it's very impressive. And we've only been here for about three years. Um, and because of COVID, we're kind of moving into it slowly, but we've occupied this space now and it is a, a first class place to teach and learn optometry. Uh, so we'll go to the next slide. We'll talk about what makes the 
I was asked to tell, to give you an idea about what makes the Melbourne Optometry Program stand out amongst all the optometry programs on offer in Australia. And I think this is probably true uh, in the world. And our answer to that is that we provide you in the Doctor of Optometry a really huge variety of hands-on experiences, including clinical placements. So about a thousand hours of really valuable clinical placements allows you to become the very best optometrist you can and being able to interact with a diverse range of different patient groups in a vast range of different practice modalities. And so you can learn about what you want to do best. You'll be in a position where you will decide, you will have the, the knowledge to decide pretty quickly what sort of optometry you want to practice. Uh, we've got a real big variety of clinical placement opportunities. There are clinical rotations throughout our own Melbourne, uh, Melbourne Eye Care Clinic. We run our own clinic. We also send students to our partners, uh, the Australian College of Optometry. That's a different demographic of patients, people with lower socioeconomic backgrounds with healthcare cards and pensions. So we see a lot of eye diseases there. We send our students out to um, public uh, private optometrists, um, both corporate optometrists and independent optometrists. There are hospital clinics you can go to and specialist clinics. Uh, importantly, we send our students out to do rural placements throughout uh, the country, Victoria. Victoria is the state of Australia where, where Melbourne is. Um, and also we have an opportunity to send students out to different countries as well. In our final year, which is spent purely doing um, clinical placements. We uh, like to send our students out for uh, maybe a six-week placement uh, or to all sorts of parts of the world, including the United States, Mexico, South Africa, India, Nepal, Singapore, New Zealand, England, and Vanuatu. And that list is expanding. Sadly, we had to contract that during COVID, but we're now re-expanding that. So that's a, a really key feature of the program at Melbourne that no other optometry school in Australia does provide. And I think that really does set, set us apart in providing you an understanding of the wide scope of optometry that there is able to, that you're able to do post-graduation so that you're fully prepared to engage as soon as you leave, uh, leave the degree.